Mr. Hill, your coffee. And again, I'm sorry we had to call you in on such short notice. It's not a problem. Especially when you keep serving me this great roast. Of course. We always appreciate your expertise. Along with that wife of yours. I'm assuming you got a tip about activity in the Twin Cities. Yes, that's exactly right, Jerry. Echo? It's been too long. That it has, Jerry, that it has. So, what's the situation? We heard that the Founder is planning to deploy a weapon of some kind on the 4th. What kind of weapon? Our sources on the inside say that it's a virus that can bring life back from the dead. It wouldn't be the first time. But this agent is different, deadlier. These zombies wouldn't be completely brainless, fully conscious, fully controllable corpses. He wants to finally accomplish what no one ever has. He wants to eliminate death. While it can't restore full bodily function to those affected, it can revive them with all of their memories, even if the brain is fully decayed. That shouldn't be possible. I'm afraid it is Mr. Hill. I don't believe we've met. Jerry, I'd like to introduce you to our newest agent. He goes by the Phantom. We found him in an abandoned pure health facility a few months ago. I am not what you would call a normal human, nor a Retlin, Mr. Hill. Think of me exactly as the name would suggest, a phantom. Very well. It's a pleasure to meet you. Jerry, I'm sorry to ask, but what is your daughter up to at the moment? She's dealing with some issues of her own. I was hoping she would be able to assist us on this op but we can still continue with the operation. If I may ask, what exactly do you think that I can help you with? We were hoping you, or your wife, would know something about a certain Rutland terrorist. So, she's shown her face again. I'm afraid so. We fear that the Founder has made some kind of agreement with her to help in the execution of this attack. I'm sorry, but my wife would know more about this than I would. Jerry, I know that she's busy, but please, try to see if Kotoma can come back before this goes down. I can try, Echo, but fair warning, I doubt it'll work. It's alright, Jerry, I appreciate your time. My advice? Maybe take a little vacation when it's set to go down. I'll keep that in mind. Before I leave, you don't mind if I take the coffee with me, right? By all means, Jerry. It's the least we can do for calling you here on such short notice. The missus should be in the lobby waiting for you already. It was a pleasure meeting you, sir.